Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to recover Artifactory admin password. Let's say that you have configured Artifactory, but you have completely forgotten Artifactory admin password. So how you can recover that? How you can reset Artifactory admin password? That's exactly what we are going to talk about in this short video. So let's try to understand the scope of this video. So you need to have Artifactory up and running um, by following these steps. So this video does not talk about if you have configured Artifactory using Docker or Docker Compose. Uh, this just talks about if you have set up Artifactory on a standalone machine uh, without following Docker. So by using these similar steps, right? Like if you have used uh, Debian packages in order to configure Artifactory, uh, so how you can recover Artifactory admin password, okay? So that, that is the scope of this video. All right, so let's get started here. So I do have configured Artifactory by following, you know, these steps. I have used Debian packages to configure Artifactory. In fact, I have posted a new video on my YouTube channel like a couple of hours ago, uh, but how you can recover your forgotten Artifactory admin password. That's exactly what we are going to talk about. Okay, so I'm already connected to my Artifactory. So this is configured in uh, EC2 instance running in AWS cloud. Okay, and this is my Artifactory uh, homepage. The default, uh, you know, username and password is admin, but the password is I have completely forgotten that. Okay, so I'm not able to log in into Artifactory. So how you can recover that particular password. Okay, it's so very simple, pretty straightforward. So this is the documentation what I would recommend. So this is actually Artifactory documentation where they have clearly provided how you can recover uh, your admin password. So that is exactly what I have followed, uh, you know, in my steps. Okay. All right. So the first thing is, yes, we need to log in into our Artifactory EC2 instance and then we need to, you know, go into the directory. Um, so let's actually go into the directory. So as you can see here, so this is a directory and of course there are a lot of system folders over here. So what we have to do is we need to create this particular file bootstrap.cruds file under access folder. If you try to go inside the access folder, uh, you may get permission denied, but I don't want to do anything. Of course, you need to be a root user in order to do that, but I don't want to perform any operation as a root user. Rather, I want to use sudo. Okay, so I'm going to use sudo and then vi. I. So we need to go and create this particular file inside this directory. Okay, so I'm going to mention the directory name and then the file name. There you go. And then press insert. All you have to do is uh, mention the username and then add symbol and then star and then mention the password, whatever the password you wanted to reset to, right? Uh, so this is what I'm going to do. That's it, right? Uh, so just in case if you have more than one user where you have forgotten the admin password, then you can specify something like that. So you can uh, specify like a second username, admin username, and then the password, whatever you wanted to configure, okay? But in my uh, you know video, I'm just going to just pick up one user and then this is the password I wanted to reset to, okay? So that is what I'm going to provide. And then save this file and then come out of this file. And then we need to, uh, you know, change mod, right? So we need to make sure that the file has re relevant permission. So let's go ahead and then perform that particular command. And then if you wanted to see what kind of permission you have provided, you can quickly see. There you go. So yes, kind of a root access, right? And then let's also change ownership right now. There you go. And then if you want to check right now, there you go. So now we have given Artifactory and then of course this is needs to have read and write access. Perfect. Okay. So that's it, right? All you have to do is, you know, stop the Artifactory service and then start it. You should be all good. So let me go ahead and then stop the Artifactory service first. Don't try to start the service without stopping it. If you try to just uh, perform this particular command without stopping it, you will not see that your password, you know, getting reset. So you need to bring it down and then you need to start the service again. 
So let's give a couple of seconds. There you go. The service got stopped. Let me clear the screen and then I'm going to go ahead and then start the service. This might take, uh, you know, um, maybe I guess, you know, 10 to 15 seconds or even longer. Uh, once this is up, then we can check the service. And then we can also check the log file as well over here. So let's see. The service got started and if you wanted, you can check the status. There you go. It says active up and running plus Q. And then of course, right, if you want to check the logs, uh, we can also, you know, go to the log folder. You will see the log folder over here. OPT, JFrog, and then Artifactory, and then the log folder. And then you can see uh, there is a log file called Artifactory hyphen service.log, right? So if you want, you can just view that as well. Uh, okay, so you can put sudo. There you go, guys. Do you all see here? So I don't actually see any error message per se. So it should be up and running. Now all we have to do is, you know, log in with uh, the change admin credential. So I'm going to go back to my browser. This got stopped and restarted. Let me refresh. There you go. It is in the process of coming up. And then I'm going to go ahead and then provide the username and password. The username is admin and then the password, if I remember correctly, um, so we gave this was the password, right? What we provided. So let me go ahead and put that there and then click on login. Wow. Do you all see that guys? There you go. So that was the password, you know, uh, I entered. So yeah, so that's it guys, you know. So that's how you would be able to restart or recover Artifactory admin password. Thank you for watching this video, folks.